guess I'm keeping this. Incredibly painful hand. I'm just a tranquil throwback hater. Can't explain it. It's just how I'm how I'm built. Surprised energy does so well on timeless. I am also surprised by this. Oh, excellent. We queued into the red deck with our 10 million pain lands for exactly what we wanted. I feel like energy doing so well must be partly a symptom of people not building the busted decks correctly, but maybe I'm wrong. Although a lot of the busted decks, you know, you play reanimate or necro or whatever, you're paying a lot of life. I don't really understand how energy ever beats Omnital. But I've also not played Omnital yet. That's what you'd be trying to figure out, Gwen. Yeah, I'm really curious about that. I genuinely don't don't know. Very, very curious. Alright, we get to hold open go for the throat. We also get some sick fabled passage value. I oh, know we probably want to hmm. tapped. We return the fabled passage. We get to fetch with it next turn. I guess it's kind of the same either way, right? Kind of the same either way. They're both gonna be. Yeah, I guess it's better to use this. I can also use the escape tunnel to power my lookout potentially. Oh, that doesn't sound like it's terribly likely. in their team. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Seems good. Look at that value. Value city. Build your dream of the coolest deck being vi viable. That is kind of heartbreaking. I do love me some Sprout Swarm. Sprout Swarm's just good clean living. I will just make infinite creatures very slowly. You think Necrona's just sucks in Timeless? Yeah, I've been trying it and it's not been going great, I will admit. Maybe, maybe Necro is not it. That's uh that's a draw. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you to figure out the answer to that yourself, Alchemical. Wait, I'm still allowed to play a land this turn too. I'm gonna have so many lands, apparently. We'll see what good that does us. I should have cracked my escape tunnel already. I am not very smart. Anyway. I could use a cut down now, or I could wait to try and use it on the slick shot. I worry that if I wait, I am more likely to die rather than less. Oh, I would love to see that, Gwen. Please send it along. Yeah, I worry that I'm more likely to die than not if I use cut down that on the slick shocks. They only need two pump spells to go over the top of it. Maybe I should just ensure that a creature dies. I don't know. This might be really bad. I'm. <laughs> I have not had enough practice against these red decks. It's so hard to know when you're actually allowed to kill their things with cut downs. Snapped it off every time. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is not good for me. This kind of stinks for me, actually. Well. So if they have a single pump spell, I have successfully been punished. If they, they had two pump spells, nothing I did ever mattered. Make of that what you will. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Uh, I guess I was punished. Was I still dead anyway? I might have still been dead anyway is the thing. I'd be taking six plus five. Well, plus three. So I could have gone to two here, but I would have basically nothing. Yeah. Stinky. All right. Mono red is like weirdly terrifying nowadays, apparently. Apparently, apparently. Is this any good? I feel like they pump their creatures over it half the time, but maybe it's fine. Hey, Sophia. Yeah, that deck is made of prowess triggers. It really is. Is this any good? I know it's incredibly expensive. So the answer is probably no. But it, it is an instant speed removal spell. <laughs> it's probably pretty heinous. Uh, what do I want to cut? The Forsaken Miners do not block. Which sounds... Suboptimal. Parasunder blows up their stupid imp maker. Yeah, the forge. Alright, after having all this cute skeleton stuff in our deck, we're boarding all of it out here, I guess. <laughs> maybe, um... Maybe Terrasunder is actually just better than corpses. Corpses seems really bad in this matchup. Yeah, skellies. Skella friends. Let's just bring in Miasma. And hope that lines up somehow. Mm, sketch. We'll try it. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sure. Bunch of removal. Could be worse, could be worse. Most creature decks are skeleton decks, apart from spirits. There must be another exception. Arguably Eldrazi. We don't really know if they have skeletons or not. <laughs> we assume they have skeletons, but you never really know. I'm sure some of them do not have skeletons, like, canonically. That has to be the case, right? Oozes, yeah, it's true. You know what they say, you ooze, you lose. Or something like that. I worry that I am taking a lot of time off here from hitting land drops, but you know, details, details. Please no forge. This makes me look incredibly silly for not boarding in Terra Sunders. Excellent, excellent. <sighs> Plans, please. I can never figure out if you're just meant to assume literally every mono red player always boards in four forges regardless of the matchup. Like, obviously here it's a very, like, good and reasonable card to be boarding in. No, no, no disputes. But whenever I play like Convoke Mono Red boards in Forge against me, and I get very confused. <laughs> All right. Oh, a couple turns away from gaining a lot of life, I guess. Am I meant to hold this land for my lookout? Any loops recommendations? Oh, is in the um the style of earplugs or something different? I'm not. I'm not sure. I 100% understand the question. I kind of want to hold the land. Maybe it's silly. Yeah. If I draw a land, I feel silly. If I don't draw a land, it's just like the. The thing is, 
if I don't draw a land, this is the best, the better decision by like a colossal distance. Whereas if I do draw a land, it's like a bit worse. So, and I'm also more likely to draw a spell than a land anyway. I think holding is just good. Because there are multiple kinds of them. I can't even remember what kind I got. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to level with you. I can't, cannot even remember what one I got myself. All I know is, is, that, is that it just does a good job. <laughs> um, I, I assume all of them work pretty well. I don't know. You just choose based on what context you need them for, right? Our gym. That raid. Hell yeah. Also a little bit punished for holding the land, I guess. But obviously we want this mouse to die. <laughs> Welcome to everyone joining us from Jim's stream. Shout out to Jim. Great streamer. Great person. Hmm. I could get on the lookout. I kind of want to get the Wayfinder going too, though. Kind of much of a muchness. I guess. Because we're probably going to trigger the lookout next turn. And we can, like, double spell next turn this way. Everyone joining us, I am Autumn or Rain or Rainy, any of the above. Play mag Magic, mainly the stream standard on Arena at the moment. Standard, standard is just like phenomenal right now. Best it's been in years. Make sure to follow me if you want some cool standard content. We're trying out this black green skeletons deck today. So far it's felt pretty cool. Do not have any skeletons in post board against mono red, but you know, details. The triggers don't stack favorably here, right? Oh, but they can um, swing with the mouse. I really don't want to lose my lookout. I feel like lookout is a part of how I win this. This is the thing. A lot of damage to take though. It like puts me in a real rough spot against this forge if I don't block. <laughs> I think I'm kind of forced to block, which feels really awful. Have I played the Niv Domain deck? I haven't. I haven't played the Niv Domain deck. Sounds like something I should play. All right, shout outs to Tranquil for a back, redeeming themselves in my eyes. <laughs> there it is, yeah. We found it. All right, now we get to start swinging. Um, kind of the similar decision point as earlier. I guess I'll just run out lookout. Let's see if we have a go for the throat prepped for next turn. <laughs> go ahead matt i'd love to see it thank you and thanks for checking before posting a link i don't know i assume people are allowed to post links we get enough bots here who seem to be allowed to do it so all right this is pretty good for me um do i want to kill like the rock face village this has been weirdly annoying i think i just want to do this plus hold open go for the throat this time For people who need to control everything, the throwback is key. I'm not like a big throwback fan, but I gotta admit, it does help against Forge. <laughs> like the fact that I cut a second throwback right before this match. Maybe that's why I always lose to Mono Red. I just refuse to throw back. It's all my fault, really. All right, that's a Swift Spear. That's not very threatening. I kind of want to keep hold of this Go for the Throat. However, if I fire it off, I can just Gixes and gain a bunch of life next turn, which also sounds pretty incredible. I wish my Loran cost more mana. I might be biased from playing too much... Uh, what are we doing? Too much Tima. 
in previous standard. Because Teema in previous standard was just like incapable of actually casting throwback half the time. <laughs> You'd be sitting there with like island, island, mountain forest on turn four and be like, what am I doing? How did I end up here? Is this like me, like the old one? Okay, only attacking ones get pumped. Nice. <laughs> It's true, that's a, that's, that is a comeback for the Frillback's reputation. Oh, hey, Bacon. I maybe should have played this before swinging. Details. Finished another art piece? Hell yeah. Go take a look-see. <laughs> well done on the art piece, Bacon. Well, this is the updated version, that's the one you've been playing. Thank you, Matt. Oh, it has Roxanne. I adore Roxanne. Magic, magic needs more Roxannes. What a card. Maybe I should give something like that a spin. It's, yeah, it's kind of domain-ish, I guess, right? It's got the Beanstalk binding thing going on. Just with a different endgame, not doing the Atraxa thing. I might give domain nib a spit at some point soon. It seems fun. This will bring in these Terra Sunders. Seems like it will help against Forge. I think I do want Choking Miasma. It helps against the the mouse, the offspring mouse, right? What a couple cards am I cutting, man? I feel like Archfiend is just gonna murder them real quick. Maybe Vine Lasher ain't it, since we're not very aggressive. It's pretty unexciting to cast on turn one. You absolutely hate Atraxa. Atraxa is a divisive card. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I feel like I am obligated just to cut this down right now. Boys, it's going to give us trouble. Like I always say, make sure you register for cut down. <laughs> Uh, pretty sure my actual problem is that I just hate cards that I get against mono red. <laughs> oh my god. Magic's too easy. Yeah, we have been talking a lot about, um, about cards we're not fans of on this day. Alright, this is going pretty good. Next time we play a 6-6. Six -six. And say, can you beat this? And then maybe we get to turn it into an 8 8 lifelink and cause my opponent a lot of trouble. Maybe. <laughs> we, we will find out if such things occur, but you better believe I'm casting it. Incoming act of treason. Of course, of course. Okay. Manifold mouse for double strike. They did not double strike it up. Rising. I kind of just want to like kill show off and hit them. Oh, is it only mice? Never mind. I just don't know how cards work. Uh, yeah, let's kill this. Pick two. Make another six. Oh, 
It'd be so OP. It's already like pretty OP. <laughs> but yes, it would be very silly. I think I want to cast this. I don't I don't think I'm gonna have time to cast this anytime soon when we're doing Gix's command and Restless Cottage. Just getting it down seems fine. Maybe they double strike and pump a bunch and then we're happy to have a blocker. Or maybe they make a 1-1. One -one that we can block. Also valid. Forge is not very good against Archfiend of the Dross, it has to be said. I'm gonna be taking nine. That seems pretty good. I approve of this. <laughs> Shout outs to Archfiend of the Dross. Shoulder it ain't nothing. Uh, Mulligan. Keep. What? Insightful decision making. Um. Do I get rid of a removal spell or a dread knight? Hey, Mike. Yeah, I'm doing great. Life's good. Not much to complain about. Ah, the mirror match. I see. I'm just gonna draw a card. I say the mir mirror match. They're probably on talent in reality. But hey. We are very bad at removing the card Innkeeper's Talent from the battlefield, it must be noted. This is um slight vulnerability, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Take a removal spell. So the problem is if I don't kill the bat and they have another bat, we look really silly. But also I kind of like the idea of just assembling a bunch of critters to hit them with. I don't think we're allowed to play Lookout. If we play Lookout and they have a Liliana of the Veil, we just kind of lose on the spot. That seems good to me. start attacking like we do not have inevitability in this matchup because we can't remove innkeeper's talent from the board so we have some amount of obligation to swing yeah we still have no removal if we do things that way yeah that's a great point vv i agree also if we draw a cut down we look we look incredible here because we get to go look out into cut down we get to feel very good about our decision making so do not draw a cut down. Mm, unfortunate. Do I want to swing my Dread Knight into their Dread Knight? I feel like I probably do. They get to block the Miner if they want anyway, right? Yeah, it's a swing. Seems good. Alright. Take some damage. Until the end of your next turn. So we can just do it next turn. I want to get down minor plus look out this turn. I think uses my mana a bit better. Works out as more damage. Nothing we're really looking for at this turn. So we can go looking next turn instead. Also, getting Lookout down is really threatening, kind of forces them to use a removal. Yeah, which means our miners get to keep getting in. This is good. This is good. God. Oh, it'd be really nice to get the Wayfinder down. I guess they can just cast the Dread Knight to block it. I think that's fine.
All right, obviously drawing a land next turn would be pretty absurd. We get to go look out, go for the throat, push through our Wayfinder probably. The witch is that, what the hell? Excuse me? People keep suggesting I put this in Caretaker's talent decks. Kind of funny to see it outside of that context. Ah, uh, food token, wicked roll, I'm sure. So if I swing with the miners, they do just get to block with the Dread Knight. For free. Also, I don't think I'm allowed to just, like, stop swinging, so. It uses up a lot of their mana, when they supposedly already have a lot to use their mana on. Right, time to start generating some mana advantage. Uh, just say go and do it in their turn. I don't think of any convincing reason not to. Crater that's been burning since the 1980s? That's crazy. That is actually kind of wild. They have to draw a card if they don't want to lose this this turn. They probably also have to kill this lookout, otherwise it's going to run away with the game. Okay. See what land we find. Forest for our troubles. Draw. Creature. Uh, that's really annoying. Kinda hate that. Like, a lot. Am I allowed to just cast Virtue of Persistence? Obviously if they have a Terra Sunder, we'll feel really embarrassed, but... He was potentially pretty strong. I guess they get to cast their Virtue this turn. We'll have a virtue war going on. Oh my fucking god, they have Nissa. Okay, they are not talent. They are just like mid-range. Which is really bad for us. Because their mid-range deck seems to be quite a bit larger than ours. Which is typically how you win mid-range mirrors. Is just to have the bigger mid-range deck. We're in a lot of trouble. Putting it lightly. We are in a lot of trouble. Now we need to eat their creatures so they can't virtue them back, I guess. Oh. Oh, it comes back to the battlefield? Even better than I thought. Kind of crazy. But I guess just none of my creatures die at the moment. Pay, having to pay a life for the Dread Knight's kind of brutal because now the Preacher gets a double trigger. I hate that. Yeah, I should have paid with another Lanowar Wastes to be on 10 so that they wouldn't get a 1-1. One -one. Should have paid with both. <laughs> hey, Mike. Very uh, horrible accusation, I know. <laughs> How dare my opponent lack talent. They're going to demo field my cottage. Horrendous. I assume them using this demo field is kind of lights out for me. I can't. Really imagine how I would get back in this. And they just have so much stuff now. Wait, they did this pre-combat? Oh, because they're blocking. Okay, makes sense. Ah, uh, free. Lights out, Gorilla Radio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I guess they just get to trade off Dread Knights. Soak up a lot of our mana. Maybe I just swing with Dread Knight. Just to have it die. And I don't swing with the Miners. Yeah, this way they stop a trample damage, but they lose their free free, which is pretty nice. We're gonna go. This is gonna deal one to me. So I kind of want to be have the other Lano always open. Oh, or I can have that open as well. Uh, kick this. Get yeah, a 1 1. Play my Lana Wall Waste. You take 2. Oh, you're now on 8, though. So now we're on higher life again. So we're fine. Cool. Then we're going to demo field. Kill the cottage. And find a land to cast this Dread Knight. And they take another 2. This a food? It is. Okay. They go up to nine if they want. We're kind of getting somewhere slowly. I uh, take it all back. How do we ever beat this card? Vola. Dorky. Dorky idiots. Oh boy. So if I don't block with my Vine Lashes, I'm drawing towards Fetch Land to kill them. I should block with my Dread Knight then, because that gives me an extra draw towards Fetch Land. Yeah, or we can draw another Vine Lasher. That also does it. Or we can draw a Swamp, I guess. All right, give me something good. I need something so good that qualifies. Wow, we actually somehow won this game. Do not understand how. My opponent has cast so many cards that are better than my entire deck, and yet here we are. <laughs> oh no, they have a food. So they're gonna be on one, right? Oh, opponent. Just scooped. Also, we have no basics, didn't we? I thought we had a swamp. Yeah, they, they have a... Uh, the problem is I demo field their land, and then in response, they will have two mana after I demo field, so they can respond to the triggers. So they weren't actually dead, but my opponent decided to give it to me anyway, so that's nice. <laughs> we'll take it. We demo field our own land. Is that a thing? You must be joking. You cannot do that, VV. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to say. It's really hard to imagine Archfiend of the Dross is actually good against them. Ooh, thank you, Gwen. Thank you, thank you. Definitely want Gix's command. Probably want Nyssa. I worry that, like, Archfiend of the Dross is just gonna die to a go for the throat. But maybe... Maybe it murders them. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure how I'm meant to position myself in this matchup. Are they playing Innkeeper? We haven't seen none of the Innkeeper cards. We haven't seen Innkeeper or Vraska. Wayfind is the one card that's kind of embarrassing against Cutdown, amusingly. From some of my cut downs. I guess if they have Broncos, I'm gonna look really silly there. I kind of feel like the card is pretty bad against a lot of their stuff. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut some cards before time runs out. I'm probably. Hmm. I don't know. Cutting Wayfinder might just be bad. I just didn't know what else to cut in time. 
The sound is very nice. Got some pressure, got some removal. Oh yeah, I was also playing flagstones at the time, Callie. It was very sad. Alright, deploy the Forsaken Miner. Uh, opponent? You okay? You okay there, opponent? But normally, I'm a big fan of drawing cards, but I think in this position, I'm a big fan of murdering my opponent with my idiot creatures. Yeah, I used to play Soul Sisters in modern occasionally. That was a treat. Matchups were so lopsided. It was kind of comical. <laughs> you face Merfolk and you can never lose. You face Tron and you can never win. <laughs> it was kind of endearing. <laughs> It's just like, I, I just don't have to worry. What, whatever matchup I face, it's out of my hands, you know? I just want to run two of these friends out. Oh, I could also, um, I could have just done double one drop as well, huh? Anyway, it seems fine. So nice double Lanawar wastes over there. I hope you bash their face in or they have a billion life. I feel like I typically was beating the like black green X decks of Soul Sisters. It was a long time ago and the decks all looked very different. From now. Oop. You ever just cast a lot of small creatures and your opponent doesn't play their second land drop and they die horribly? <laughs> I like the look of this Lurus deck. One. 